Hi parents! Thank you for checking out this video tutorial. I'm Nelly from Great Solution Jimmy Math. So today I'll be going through something very basic, okay, for area of triangle, and it is in identifying the base and the corresponding height of the triangle in order to find area of triangle. So why is this important? Well, that is because this is the very basic thing that your child should know before solving any area of triangles questions, okay? Without this ability to identify the base and the corresponding height of triangles, your child might not be able to solve all types of questions involving area of triangles. So without further ado, let me show you three types of triangles and how we can find out what is the base and what is the corresponding height of the triangle. So let's look at the first triangle. This is a very simple one and most students will be able to tell that this line below will be the base and the corresponding perpendicular height will simply be the line that is perpendicular to the base, meaning it is 90 degree to the base, and that this line must reach the opposite point of the triangle. Uh, this sharp point opposite is also called the vertex, okay? The opposite vertex of the triangle. Okay, let's look at another triangle that is a little bit more challenging. So here we have the base of the triangle, okay, over here. Okay, but unfortunately, we can't really draw the perpendicular line like just now where it can just reach the opposite point easily. So what happens here is that we got to extend the base. Okay, once extended, then we can connect the perpendicular height okay, towards the opposite vertex. Okay, and then you can also see that this is 90 degree. This height here is 90 degree to the base. Okay, so here we have got the height. Okay, and this is the height just now. So let's look at the last example. Here we have the base. <coughs> and the height, it is simply this line here. Okay, the line that connects the opposite vertex. And it reached the base at this angle that is 90 degree. Okay, let's now look at some of the past year papers. Here we have got Melody's Girls P5 last year's SA2 question. So the question is asking for the height of triangle ABC. Some students might not read the question at all and go ahead to choose CD to be the answer, to be the height of the triangle because, well, why not, right? It can be the height of the triangle. But the thing is, we got to read the question, okay? I always encourage my students to read the question, okay? It's a very simple thing to do, yet uh, it can be mislooked, okay? Just because the student want to quickly finish answering the question. But we got to read the question. Otherwise, it's very easy to commit this kind of mistake, okay? Because BC is the base, AB is not the base, so CD cannot be the height, right? Okay, so to avoid missing out on simple marks like this, do read the question. This is what I'll tell my students, all right? So here, BC is the base, so we got to fix BC to be the base, okay? And we can see that this type of triangle, we got to extend the base in order to find the perpendicular height, okay? The perpendicular height, which is the line that connects the opposite vertex with the base at a 90 degree. So here, we will answer AE, right? So some students might even choose AC, but that's wrong, right? Okay, we know that the perpendicular height got to make a 90 degree with the base, and here it is not 90 degree, okay? So AC cannot be the answer as well. All right, let's now look at another questions of the same concept. Here we have Mahabohi's P5 essay 2 last year. Okay, and the question is asking for the base and the corresponding height. Okay, without scanning through the options, students might just see it as, oh, very easy. BD is the base and AC is the height. Okay, this is the very 
usual type of base and height we can take. But however, when the student looks through the options, he or she will realize that there is not such an option. It is not as simple as they think it can be, okay? So here we got to just scan through the options and see which one is the base and the height. Okay, option one is saying that EB is the base. Okay, EB, some students might think that it can be the base. However, okay, if we look closely, this dotted line here, it is not part of the base of the triangle because it is the extended base, okay? The dotted line is not part of the triangle at all, okay? So option one is out of our options, okay? Now we look at the option two. Option two is saying AB is the base. Okay, now AB can, right? Because AB is part of the triangle, whereas just now the EB, it includes the dotted line, which is the EA part, which is not part of the triangle. Okay, so now let's look at option two. AB, the base, and DE being the corresponding height. Yes, again, remember what we have went through just now, right? When we have a triangle like this, we got to extend the line, okay, extend the base so that we can now connect the height from the opposite vertex towards the base at a 90 degree, okay? So in this question, we have option two to be the answer. Alright, so now let's look at this last example question. This question was from Catholic High's P5 SA2 last year. Okay, and the question is saying, okay, remember to read the question, right? In the figure below, FH is the base. Okay, so let's fix that to be the base. A F H base. Okay, so FH is the base of triangle F G H which is the height of the triangle FGH, right? Okay, so by now we know that we got to extend the base. Okay, once extended, okay, we see that the answer will be KG. Okay, so it's very simple. Okay, so um, this is a very simple video tutorial on how to identify the base and the corresponding height. So I hope that this video clarifies and that now your child is able to solve um, the very basic type of area of triangle questions simply because your child is able to identify the base and the correct corresponding height. Yes, so this is a very important foundation before your child can go ahead to solve all kinds of area of triangles questions. Next video, I'll be showing you on how to solve tricky questions, okay, more complex area of triangles questions. So, so stay tuned. And if you have any questions or any suggestions for upcoming videos, feel free to leave a comment below and do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.